Hello and welcome to the 3 Minute Guide to Student Sounds. Today we will again look at the property Fire Rev 4. In this case we're going to focus on the, on the polymod section and we're going to do some very simple FM sounds using the oscillator to modulate the other oscillator. And we will start by having a synth normal so the filter is fully open. That means also using the envelope amount to sustain at maximum keyboard tracking full. Oscillator A has a sort of wave, oscillator B has nothing for now and is of course muted in the oscillator. We are just going to use a section, we are just going to use it for modulation for now. And now we are also going to use the oscillator set to the same um, frequency. So we have oscillator A and oscillator B both set to uh, C2. And this is because we're going to do some very subtle polymod modulations today. We're going to use oscillator B with a sort of way to modulate oscillator A's frequency. And then we increase the depth of the modulation. It's a very subtle effect, of course there's a slight tuning difference because, and you have to tune the sound if you want to use it chromatically after you set the depth. But that's without modulation. Actually quite useful. Now we'll do something different. We will uh, modulate the uh, pulse width of oscillator A instead. So we select the pulse wave here. And we select the pulse width as a destination. It's, there's a certainly a subtle, a subtle difference compared to using PWM, for instance, which is much more static. By changing the fine tune here, it creates a quite unique sound. This type of modulation is not very common actually to be able to modulate the pulse width from another oscillator. If we set the vintage knob to two, it's a bit more dreamy. These are some very simple uh, types of polymod between the oscillators. If we just set, go to frequency mode again and we use a different waveform. We can still get usable FM sounds. Even if we have the oscillator set to the same frequency almost. Perhaps set the vintage knob to 4 for FM. This is almost impossible to do, by the way, on the old Rev2 SSM proper because it's all over the place tuning-wise. This is also very organic but by you having the vintage knob set here is at least usable frequency wise we may be lower the left a bit okay that's what i'm going to show today on how to make the patch but i will also showcase some fm patches that are a bit more complicated just to get a feel for what we can actually do here so we have a, a couple of patches here, hang on. That was quite similar to what we just played. Oh, I have to be in preset mode and not factory. This patch is also using, uh, it's using filter FM as well, both pulse with and filter FM. The 
This is my favorite type of application, actually. And if you know which song that melody is from, then please write so in the comment section. <laughs> to make some of these patches then just write the comment in the comment section and maybe I can do a video on a couple of them. Uh, also this video was of course how to make subtle FM sounds. Uh, I will also do a video on how to make more complicated sounds with different frequency ratios and so on. But uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much.